Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Welcome to another episode of Blading on the Brain. It's your boy, Kenneth Scott, and I'm about to do something that I love to do. Honestly, I've been waiting. So like, I know there's a lot of people out there that have done unboxings of this skate, have already done reviews of this skate, but <clears throat> it's not me. And I haven't checked theirs yet. So this is fully first time looking at this product. And it is a skate that I have been looking forward to. We have been hearing about for years, probably close to like five or six years now, we've been hearing about this skate in the making, seeing our friends with prototype parts and not been able to really say much about it. So. I am super excited. First off, thank you to Tom Heiser. Thank you to the Blank and Rollerblade families for sending me this awesome gift. I did an episode for a Jump Street podcast that was sponsored by Rollerblade. Uh, shout out to Jeremy CEO and Prez. And it was a real good episode about inclusivity and how to do it right. Um, this product does represent a person of color. It does represent a skater of color. And so I'm happy to have inclusivity at the heart of all the products that I put on my feet. And so without further ado, let me talk about what I just got in the mail. But in the hand, finally, I have, boom. This is the Sean Keen Blank SK Beta. And I'm gonna open this up and tell you guys what I think about it. Ah, there we go. First thing, it is an all black skate with the black blank frames. Um, it has a 45 degree strap made of what I seem to be some sturdy materials. It's got a three point harness to it. This is something new that I've never seen in a 45 degree strap. This I'm imagining thanks to rider feedback means that this thing won't go forward and backwards. It will stay perfectly aligned to keep your heel down. Uh, other things that I noticed right away, this is not like the previous rollerblade model skates. Uh, just taking a quick look at it, you can see the revised cuff with cuff protection. Um, I've, they were straps before. This is now a buckle system. Uh, good protection on this side, like really beefy but flush. So it's not like too much, but it's enough to actually keep this buckle receptor from getting beat up and it's the reverse buckle receptor i can already tell where you put it into lock it release this way to undo the skate um another little feature i don't know if people noticed or talked about is how the protection for the inside of your 45 degree strap look a beefy extra piece that they've added you can already tell molded into this design i'm only going to imagine that this is also based on rider feedback uh, the whole idea behind this blank beta skate is that it is um, reflective of what the skaters on the team wanted to see in a skate. So imagine this right here gets beat up a lot when you fall on the inside of your skate. And so you want to have good protection there so that the whole 45 degree strap works. I'm a big proponent of a 45 degree strap. Keeps your heel locked in place. And I'm happy to see it on this brand right here. Uh, other things that you have to know about this skate, it is a direct mount sole. So what that means is that the frame is set directly to your boot, much like an Aeon skate. It's not sitting on the on the sole plate. So your frame is not attached to the sole plate, which is attached to your boot. Your frame is attached directly to your boot. This should allow for better mobility. Uh, this should allow for more control and a direct to foot presence means that your skates feel more a part of your foot and not like this extra piece added on. I'm interested in this version two liner. I have not skated a skate with a liner in years. I wanna be a hundred percent. Okay, there's a lot of laces going on in here. In case you have noticed, this is skate is laced twice. The liner has a lace for up at the cuff and then the actual boot has a lace system. So let's see what happens when we pull this out. Okay, things I noticed right away there's a beefy heel pad in there. That's nice and thick. That's gonna get rid of any heel rays. Um, has a little Velcro tab to keep it in place inside your skate. Plus the boot, you can't see that in there. The boot is actually extruded to fit these contours. And so it really is a custom piece that's designed probably for me not to move. 
but it fit right back in place. It looks very smooth. Not gonna lie, very excited for that. Here is the V2 liner. A little, I don't know what you would call this right here, textured. It's almost like a vinyl or like a patent leather. But what I'm imagining is this is similar to other boots that have tried to put like dots on there to keep the heel lock in place. This is directly attached to the back of your cuff. So I'm imagining this is keeping that heel lock, this heel lift to a minimum. Uh, general thoughts about the liner. I haven't had a liner in like 10 years. I've skated USD Carbons. Before that, I skated SSMs. And I think legitimately that's the last time I honestly had a liner in my skates. So this is gonna be new. There's a little piece of something here. I hope I didn't need that because that was attached. Maybe that is another Velcro strap, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if there's anything in the skate that I'm losing. No. Oh, okay, so this right here came off while I was taking my boot out, but this is actually a smart design. This is something I don't know that everyone had talked about because like I said, I didn't look at anyone else's reviews, but inside the skate on the back end of the cuff bolts, you know, sometimes that'll dig like a hole into your boot and mess up the integrity of the boot, they put little pads. So, you know, they put a little something there to keep that part of your, of your skate, the actual internal mechanism from messing up your boot. And so that came off when I just took the boot out, but you know, we'll see if I can get that back on there. But I see it on the other side and it's very intentionally put on there to keep, to keep that part from rubbing thin. Very smart idea. Um, I don't know much about the type of plastic shoes yet. I don't know much about the fit. I am a 10 and a half in sneakers, so I'm about a 28.5 uh, length, which means this is the, I'm at the farthest end of this shell, which is the 10, the 10 shell. So I'm at the farthest edge. So if you're a 10 and a half, measure your feet before you cop this size. Other cool things that came with it. One, two, three, four, I guess, yeah. Full set of wheels. These are the Hydrogen 60 millimeter 92A wheels. I hear a lot of good things about Hydrogen wheels from urban skaters and big wheel skaters. We'll see how that works. Hey, we've seen this before as like an aftermarket product from Sola Equipment, but here we see it directly. So you see the sizes there, 280 to 285. I like I said, I'm on the far end of 285. So this is the Standard foot sizer. Oh, interesting. So this will let you know if you have the right size skate. I thought this was like a little shock absorbing pad that I could put underneath. It actually has the picture that you put underneath, but I don't know now. Maybe, I thought it was a shock absorber. Also came with a full set of twin cam bearings and the triangular blank axles because you know they have the locking mechanism built in by this triangle and then round on the other side so that you only have to turn with one allen key so you have to get those specific axles um very excited for these first things first is i'm going to take the screws and replace them with my fruit tech hardware screws i like the torque wrench and the shininess of my fruit tech shout out to my sponsor check them out for all their boot kits this one is available, I think, but if not, it will be available soon, the blank kit, but you can find them for all the other skates that you have at fruittechhardware.com. And do check out your local retailers to see how you can pre-order these. I know at Roller Warehouse, they're still available for pre-order. Uh, the first run sold out, so now they're waiting for the next run. But check out Intuition, check out Oak City, check out Inline Warehouse, find your locals, see if you can get your hands on these. A little bit heavier, for sure than my adapts, being that they're all plastic the whole way up. Um, and I haven't been in a hard boot skate in a long time. So let's see how this goes. I will definitely follow up with you guys with my first impressions video. But this was just an unboxing of something I'm super excited for. Actually, it looks like with the blank frames, you can get to your frame bolts without having to take your wheels out. If you saw my review of the 50-50 balance frames, you'll see that that's a feature I love. Um, not much else to say, subscribe and like, do check in. There'll be more content, especially on these brand new boots. Thank you to my friends at Rollerblade. Shout out to my JSF brother, Sean Keen. Congrats on this skate. Love always, peace. Upgrade your gray matter. 
because one day it may not escape safe so you can escape forever people peace